I am ready for this rain. Over the top. Hello, I'm Alan. Join me as I hike 3,000 kilometers from the southernmost tip of mainland Japan to the northernmost, exclusively on foot, walking a half marathon every day for five months. <laughs> Japanese sake, Japanese sake, Tiger sake, Tiger sake, <laughs> Tiger sake. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Japanese sake, <laughs> Tiger sake, <laughs> Tiger sake, <laughs> Tiger sake, Tiger sake, Tiger sake, Tiger sake, Tiger sake, Tiger sake, Tiger Chiba can. Chiba can, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Hi. Come back. Come back. Hi. Hmm. 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 I made it to 60. We were just having too much fun drinking. We had a bit too much sake. I didn't even watch uh, football because I just fell straight asleep. Although, apparently Germany played abysmally, so, and they're out. I'm really disappointed in myself. I was gonna make it to 100. one in like a couple hours. Someone's murdering beetles.
my god, it's a real life snail race. sign for Wakanai Oh, they're really aggressive following me. <laughs> I think he's had enough. Oh no. Still taste of coke? Wow. Oh. But why is it clear? Zero calories, just what I need. Not. Does it mean there are fewer chemicals in it? Because they've not had to color it? Okay, this will be a first. Trying the local train station. Nice and warm in here. Let's just check the timetable. What time is it now? It's nine o'clock. So there are four more trains to go. And the first one is half six. I'm appreciating the pillows though. Have a look. The weather's changed again, so it's not actually going to rain until six in the morning. that dropping on my face. Look at that beast. The worst thing it did can fly. What please will we give me today? Pancakes. Um, some kind of cheesy bread. Some more cake. 
cake. A fruit and cream sandwich. And some dry plums. They're good for when you're feeling a bit sluggish during exercise. Cool! It's so warm here, I don't need the fly sheet. But I'll be up before the first lot come through. What is it with these crows? What am I, the bird whisperer? I feel like Cinderella. Is it her that talks to the animals? I'm finding it quite difficult to uh, speak at the moment because um, it feels like I've cut the bottom of my tongue, but I can't see it. Uh, uh, cut there uh, but it just makes it quite painful so when when this guy uh, spoke to me I, I, I you know obviously I wanted to have a chat uh, but he was so sweet he was this older man he was just about to head out to go to a, a local bath um, and he gave me quite an assortment of um, of things he gave me a beer a grapefruit and this homemade uh, looks like a some sort of quiche you yeah, know while I was speaking to him he was like oh, I want to I want to give you something um, but, but I don't know what and then because he, he was in a, he was in a, like a bathrobe and then he went into his house and um, he brought that out on a tray with a glass of milk which was very sweet <laughs> That cafe was super cute. It's really nice and relaxed, atmosphere. Uh, they had some great chilled out music playing. Nice little fireplace. The owner was really, really nice. We had a good little chat. Uh, and then in fact, there was another customer that came in and she's actually from the next town up, Nayoro, uh, where I'm heading tomorrow. And she offered for me to stay at uh, her place, which was really nice. And when I left, I was given these pastries for breakfast. Great start to July. Of course, the problem now being, can I resist eating it until tomorrow? I think I know the answer. Looks like it's not gonna rain tonight, so back to camping. How cool it would be if we camp on that tiny little island. Do you think that's acceptable?
I wish I'd gone to cafes more often. I mean, the problem, of course, is the expense. But it's, it's much easier to talk to local people that way. I swear I'm only having one of them. American guys said hello and um, asked if I wanted to relax it into the, the bus for, for a little while. It's definitely a welcome break because it's really humid uh, today. And he offered me a nice large uh, iced coffee. Uh, and his son was actually there as well. Dwayne and... Um, I forgot his name. M Mikhail, maybe? Yeah, we got chatting and it turns out there are missionaries working here in Nairo for the last 10 years. He's originally from upstate New York, but he moved to Indiana, I think, is where their church is based. Uh, yeah, and we had a nice, pleasant chat about you know, moving to a new country uh, and, and trying to integrate with society and then having trouble when you know they go and visit the United States and they sort of experience this reverse uh, culture shock, uh, which is really interesting. Yeah, but that was really nice. And he gave me his phone number in case anything. Uh, offered to help in case anything went wrong. He must have seen me, bought the iced coffee and then swung around uh, to give it to me. Which is very nice. Yeah. Malachi, that was his name. I just bumped into him. Lovely name. Uh, really nice kid too. He's 18, he's the oldest of the 12. Nuts having that many siblings. I had a lot of fun, I reckon. Today's the last 30 plus kilometer day. There's a break in the rain, apparently not for long, uh, but I'm gonna try and power through. It's getting to the end now. A few people now have uh, warned me about an impending typhoon that's approaching Hokkaido. I mean, I'm not really sh sure how much to read into that, but even this close to the end, I don't. That's not. That's not something that I want to have to deal with. really cold, it's pissing it down, it's the, the rain is just relentless. Um, I arrived at the road station which is in the middle of nowhere, uh, the shops are all closed. It's really annoying because there's a, there's a few travelers that uh, are stopping by for basically just a toilet break. Uh, over, the, there's a, over the bridge there's actually a really nice campsite but it is fed by the river so and the river is flooded. Um, so it's not ideal, but even if that weren't the case, it's still raining, so I don't really fancy camping in the cold and wet. Uh, there is a hotel, but it's going to be, you know, 10, 15,000 yen just for the night, which I'm not prepared to pay. If I can't find any details online, I'm going to, I'm going to find out how much they cost. I think my upper limit is going to be 5,000 yen. Anything more than that, I'm not going to, I'm not going to take it off to think of something else. I've just sat down and I don't, I really don't want to get, I'm, I'm underneath a, like a sheltered bit, but I really don't want to get back out there. It just doesn't look very friendly. And I'm really tired. But it, it was my last 30k day. 
so that's good. Look at their impressive tents. So the hotel was full, um, but they did have a public bath, so I just went to that and warmed up quite nicely. In fact, the water wasn't hot enough. I am just getting used to it. But they did have a uh, jacuzzi and a sauna, so uh, I can't complain. Still doesn't solve the problem of what I'm going to do now. Setting up a tent in the rain is no fun, nor is waking up to rain and then having to pack it up and carry around a wet tent. Plus, it's, it's cold. It's not below eight, so it's doable, but I'm not feeling it. The hotel is closing up and I can't stay. They were kind enough to give me some hot water for my dinner, but I gotta go outside. Also, I've been told that um, apparently the camping place is closed, so I can't even camp here. I'm gonna have my dinner and then I'm gonna have a think. The good news though is that my boots are not wet. So, um, back here again. Uh, this is basically the only space I found that is sheltered, but there's a whole bunch of furniture. So I'm gonna have to move that out of the way and then um, pack up pretty sharpish in the morning. The rain is kind of slowly dying down, but it is still, it's not actually, it's not that cold. Well, but that, that might just be having just got out of the, uh, the public bath. Maybe that's made a difference. After tonight, it'll be one more week. One more week. Which I'm kind of obviously super happy about, but also quite sad. Uh, so it's a, it's a weird, a weird combo of emotions. But yeah, it's, 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 it's coming to the end. I just wish it wasn't raining. <laughs> Although the, uh, like I said, my boots, I actually gave up on my, <gasps> I left them in the car. Uh, kind lady just helped me to try and find somewhere to stay. But I left my, my boot covers, I left them in, in her car. Uh, but they were, they were ripped to shreds anyway. I mean, I wasn't gonna use them tomorrow. So yeah. End of week 19. Bring on week 20.